Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today we're going to be creating Cogsworth. Let's get into it. I'm creating this model in Fusion 360, so I'm going to start out by just sketching out the basic outline. Now, um, this model is perfectly symmetrical, at least the way that I have him posed. So I'm going to create a line right down the center and then only model half of him. Then when the time is right, we can just flip it and we'll have both sides of the model complete. Now occasionally I get people asking me how I know where to put things and how to make things look proportionally. And the short answer is I don't, I just kind of feel it out. And that's actually a lot of what I've tried to do on this channel is get my eye and my sense for that proportionality to develop while I'm making these things. Every once in a while you can get lucky and get an image that is just spot on and you can just trace it, but most of the time I prefer just to eyeball it. And this is the good thing about using Fusion 360 is because it does keep track of your history, so at any point you can modify the sketch and it will propagate the changes through, so you won't end up having to redo a lot of the work you've already done if you decide later in the process that something needs to be changed. Now that the basic sketch of the body is complete, we can start extruding it. And there's not a lot of extra work that goes in here. We just have to um, extrude it up, bevel and chamfer some edges, and just generally make sure things are the right shape. So at this point we have everything done except for the face. And I've intentionally left that blank because I'm actually gonna be creating it in ZBrush. Now you could definitely do it in the Fusion 360 sculpting environment, but I like ZBrush more for organic modeling, so I just transferred it over there and sculpted it on the face.
Alright guys, well that is it for part one of the Cogsworth videos. Um, I believe this is only going to be a two part video series, but don't quote me on that because I think pretty much every time I've said I think it's going to be X number of parts, it always ends up being more than that. But right now the goal is two parts. So in the next part we should just be printing it and Chelsea will paint it up and get it assembled. Some of you may have noticed the time down on the corner and uh, yes, I actually did model this about a year ago. I actually modeled it on a live stream on Twitch and we printed it, um, I think somewhere in July. So I'm glad we're finally getting around to this. I think Buzz was one of the big reasons that this took so long. So I'm really happy to be getting this model out to you. So make sure you stick around for part two. I will link it down in the description when it is out. Otherwise you can get subscribed and hit the bell for notifications to alert you whenever I post new videos. And then that's gonna be it for me guys. So until next time, Keep creating.